All right, YouTube, say hello to our next project. Got this guy over at the Goodwill store nearby, so we're gonna take it apart and find out what's inside. I don't expect to find much. Probably a, uh, a motor, and that's pretty much it. But we'll find out. All right, so we've already got the housing off of this thing. There's a bunch of little clips here and there getting in the way. What we're looking at right now so far probably has some silver plated board right here. Not really sure if this is silver or if it might be tin. And then we got a motor right down here, like what I suspected. So we're going to go ahead and take those out and move on. Alright, just came across a copper bearing solenoid. Add that to our copper bearing motor. I'm going to get this taken out of here. And then we still have the flash assembly. This one you got to be really careful on. But I just wanted to show you I don't know whether or not that is uh, silver inside of that circuitry or not. Just thought it was interesting to see. Alright, so this is what it looks like after the breakdown. You can see that there is a huge pile of plastic garbage right here in this uh, little bin I've got. And then you look over to the right and you have very, very few things that look worth salvaging in this. Uh, these pins look like they're the only ones that have gold plating on them because the gold tint that's on those that's visible it's different looking than the one that's on this. I'm not entirely sure whether or not that makes a difference just by looking at it, but the base metal is the silver. That yellow metal that's on it, I don't know whether or not that's aged gold or if that is brass or copper that's been put on top of it, but it's a different shade than these pieces. These four came side by side I suspect that that might be gold plating on the tip there. We've got uh, some gold colored connectors here on the flash circuit board. Keep in mind, this circuit board is actually extremely dangerous considering the size of that capacitor. So if your capacitor is charged or if your camera had any charge to it whatsoever, you need to take extreme caution when taking this apart. I completely grounded mine out, make sure that it had no juice left in it. Uh, just wanted to point out, those are the only things on here that look like they've got anything resembling gold to them. Not sure if they do. You have this uh, flexible circuitry that is all silver in color. have no idea if that's actually silver itself or if it's any other metal that looks silver. And the only two copper coils we had were this solenoid and this motor. Anything else that was metal, such as uh, brass or copper pieces or tin, were put inside of here. Not too many. So basically what you're looking for is these two guys. This, like I said, it looks like it might be silver, but I have no idea. So we'll find out later. These four pins that look like they have a small amount of gold plating on them. This one that looks like it probably is just copper plating, not really sure. And then this back here. But that's what you get when you take apart a Polaroid 1-step 600. Pretty sure that's what the model was. So not really much to look at, just a pile of plastic primarily. So this was not really worth the teardown. It was fun though. Uh, oh, forgot to mention, uh, you had this grounding cable here. Not sure what that is. All these different metals. I need to find out. Could be tin or aluminum. Who knows. <laughs> Alright, Polaroid number two. This one seems to be higher end than the last one. Definitely has more circuitry. So... I'll show you guys what I end up finding in here. What do we got right here? This is located on the, uh, the front part of the camera. See that shiny stuff inside there? I'll show you what I found. I may be wrong. But I'm pretty sure I'm not. That's gold foil.
and beautiful. I'm going to put that off to the side for now. Okay, looks like the Polaroid was able to provide us with a gold-plated circuit board right here on both sides. We got a an ultrasonic transistor. It's gold-plated foil. This also looks to be gold-plated because whenever you bend it, the gold foil starts to come off. All right, thanks for watching. As always, if you enjoy my videos, please like, comment, or subscribe. Let me know in the comment section whether or not you think I'm doing a good job, a bad job. Give me some uh, feedback of any kind. It'll be helpful.